What's up, YouTube? It's JP Dunphy, your BMW genius here at BMW Fort Washington. And right behind me here is the 2023 3 Series LCI. So with that, let's turn this around and dive on into the changes. All right, guys, so let's dive in right here in the front. As you can see, there is a completely new face. So all this down here has been completely revamped. You have some new elements here in the center, which I'll go over in just a second. And of course, our brand new headlights. So the headlights no longer have that little tiny kink right here. They're much more grown up and have, you know, a little more distinguished look in comparison to before. Uh, in terms of your faces, now this is basically the, the uh, base uh, face that you get on it. You also have an M Sport as well as an M340, which has its own um, center grill here, which is going to be a little different when we get one of those. I'll happily show you those in one of the shorts that we get. Uh, in the meantime, everything else in here is slightly different uh, that you get again. Looking in here, you'll notice that the one main change you get inside the grill itself is this is no longer individual little slats that all open sideways. Instead, it's taking the key from the old um, two series Grand Coupe. So now it's one piece that simply all folds up on the inside. That means fewer pieces to go wrong on the inside and makes everything else easier. Again, let's take a close look at this headlight right here. All nice little changes that they have on the inside. Uh, new BMW LED function on the side there as well. It is a great looking one. Uh, this particular one does have the 19 inch BMW individual wheels uh, as the options. You know, very nice. Nothing wrong with that. Um, <clears throat> But if we're going back to the headlights for about two seconds, I do want to say that there are no more laser headlights on this one uh, going forward. Uh, so all you have is the standard LEDs and LEDs with cornering headlights. Uh, in terms of the face, as I said before, you get the M Sports um, base and the M340. Now the main place that you'll notice the difference in the back here is standard uh, rear bumper. Again, lights are Lightly updated, a little bit more smoked out comparison to before, and nice setup with here. Uh, if you're looking at the main uh, difference in price, the base MSRP only went up uh, a little, a little less than a thousand, so it went from 43,450 to 44,300 as its base price. And for that, you do get a lot of new fun stuff, standard on the inside. So hopping on the inside here, you will notice it's all very familiar. Of course, the main difference being that you have this enormous iDrive 8 setup. Of course, 12.8 inch screen, 14.9 inch in the center. Uh, the main thing is that, of course, you the change with that um, base price jump is you get standard iDrive 8, 5G eSIM standard, LED headlights, and shadow line trims. Uh, there is no more power tailgate for now. Uh, that's going to be potentially fixed in the future. Uh, there's no more laser headlights and there's no more gesture control. Uh, wireless charging is an option. This particular one does not have it. Uh, if you do get it, it's a standalone option for 200. It has a hands Bluetooth standard. And uh, if you want the head up display, it's $1,000. Uh, main reason that you do that is it's no longer uh, just a little basically cutting the head unit because iDrive 8 now replaces the entire dash to get that head of display. It is slightly bigger than the previous ones, which is all fun. If I kind of sneak out here for a second here, uh, again, this is brand new, so I don't, didn't take off any of the stuff on the inside. Uh, but in terms of the interior, you do get four sets of text in black, beige, cognac, and red. You get four Vanaska leather options in black, mocha, oyster, and red. Whoop, sorry about that. And of course you get a uh, Vernasca M Sport, which is the black with blue contrast stitching. Uh, for all the trims that you have on the inside, you see it has the newer ledge right here, which of course makes everything a little bit nicer. Kind of place you can rest your finger on and easier to touch the screen. Uh, so that's a little fun thing you can do with that. Uh, if you haven't seen the way we go through BMW iDrive 8, I do have other options for those videos in here. You can of course catch that in the upper corner here. I'll link that video's uh, overview in that. Um, anywho, back to the interior, so sorry about the jumping around a little bit here. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, it does have the newer stuff on here, so this is everything right out of the i4. Uh, simplified everything here. There's no longer hot buttons in there. Instead, all the hot buttons are stored in here now, which some people might love, some people might hate. I mean, it's kind of up to you. iDrive controller is completely unchanged, but your shifter itself has changed itself. You still have your drive modes and everything on the side here is what you expect. The only difference is now the shifter is this little tiny 
things you no longer have the stick sticking up. If you are warning about that, it still has the exact same shift pattern. You still pull it down. The only difference is now instead of bumping to the left for sport drive and manual shifting, you simply pull down a second time to go between drive and sport. Uh, of course, the other change there is instead of having the park button on this little stock up here, they simply put the park button right here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, you still have your park brake right here. Everything else in here, like I said, exactly the same. Likewise, if you go into here, the same. Um, underneath the hood, of course, you have the exact same engines that you had before. You have the uh, 330 uh, standard B48 engine uh, that makes 255 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. You have the hybrid uh, setup, which only has 353 pounds, which really isn't horrible at all. And of course, uh, under the hood, you also have the um, M340 B58 uh, with a mild hybrid system, making 382 horsepower, 361 pound-feet of torque, goes to 16 about 4.1 seconds. Uh, 330 still does, um, what do you got, 5.6 seconds, if I'm remembering off the top of my head. Uh, if you're looking at the plug-in hybrid, which again, still same uh, guts underneath, uh, if you get the S-Drive of that one, you get 22 miles of electric range, all-wheel drive gets uh, 20 miles of electric range, 281 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque, for that setup as well. Um, what was I? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm still all over the place. Uh, so interior trims, you do have a couple of options there. You get a high gloss black, you get uh, open pore fine wood grain, which is what this puppy is right here. I do particularly love that a lot. You can also get a high gloss fine line, ash wood and brown. And if you get the M performance options, you can also um, get different options on the interior uh, for things like the aluminum uh, rumple and the aluminum mesh. Uh, as an option for this this area as well. Uh, trying to think about what I'm forgetting here. All right then, so in the trunk here, we do have the same things. You have the 40-20-40 uh, rear split seats with the pass-through in the middle to make it nice and easy. Uh, little hangers on the side here. Seat pull-downs right there. Uh, there is no way to get underneath that guy. You can lift it up if you want. That's where your battery is. You, of course, have the little tiny storage things on the side. Uh, if you're looking on the back here, again, you'll notice that there's no longer the um, automatic tailgate. That's temporarily gone for now, but they will fix that potentially in the future as we go. Of course, rear view camera, standard on all BMWs at this point. Moving on to under the hood, again, like I said, on the interior, uh, even though the exterior has changed with the new face and everything else, iDrive 8 and some more better standard features, uh, it still has the same DNA underneath with just a fresh new look. So what that means is it's, uh, if you're especially looking for something like the uh, 330E, the plug-in hybrid version, that's going to give you a great alternative to the EV. So if someone is interested in EVs but, you know, still has range anxiety, you can get that. Um, the 330E does have a 12 kilowatt hour battery, which can charge overnight on a standard outlet. It takes about 11 and a half hours to do that. If you use level two on that one, you'll jump it down to about three and a half hours. Uh, I went over the range on that on the inside. But again, for instance, this is the four cylinder, this is the four cylinder, this is the 330, making 255 horsepower. You can, of course, again, option up for the M Sport uh, if you want for that to get the more power at 382 horsepower. Uh, if you're looking at any of these guys on the side, this is just the standard ones. So no, it doesn't have the same version of the uh, handles as the newer 4 Series as of yet. That might change when they have the uh, completely new model coming out in a few years. But yeah, again, this is only an LCI, so it's just a mid-cycle refresh as we go forward. So with that, yeah, that is the... Uh, as the exterior. I guess one thing I will show you uh, before we head out is just the interior and what's changed with the gauge cluster in comparison to say, um, I, I'd love to do one about the plug-in hybrid when we get one of those in as well, but I do want to show iDrive 8 with the standard engine and things that change in there with it. So with that, and da 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 da. All right, so interior. Um, iDrive 8, of course, has all the same things you expect. You have your functionality right down here on the standard, standard one. So you press this guy, select between what you want. You have all, all the uh, adjustability in here uh, that you could ever want. G meter is a newer one that's come out recently. So that shows you a little option for that. Everything else on here is what you expect. Again, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, when you do this center map, if you have um, Apple CarPlay going, your Apple CarPlay map will show in this little guy right here, and you'll get your turn by turn up on the head of display. Uh, until then, uh, basically the little things that have changed here, now you have your gas meter over here, it's no longer a little thing here, likewise for your engine temperature over there. Uh, it does tell you 
basically simple and straightforward. Full tank, goes down as it goes. Miles still empty, all things you expect. Speed, everything else, all that good stuff right here. And of course, temperature over here, it's telling you that it is currently warming up and that the engine, oh, there we go, just swapped out from cold to, you know, still a good operating temperature now. So as you saw before, that was blue to let you know that, hey, you know, I'm not quite up to temperature yet and tells you that it's warming up. Now that it's warmed up, you're good to go. Um, in terms of the things that change on this main display here, you have all your standard ones. Let me jump out of this to the main screen here. Everything you expect with iDrive 8 on here that you see in the i4. Uh, and you'll see in the i7 as well as we get those coming in soon. Uh, 7 Series as well. Can't wait to show you that when it comes in, by the way. But until then, uh, the only thing that's really changed here, so if I go to Sport, it of course switches to a Sport-only display. If you try and change this, you can only change the center, center stuff as well as that. Um, when you do change Sport, automatically it does go to a Sport head display here, which will show you... I'm not sure if you can really see that because it's pulsing, but... Uh, as I rev that, you have a uh, little rev counters on the little rev indicator on the outside here, and the red in the center that you see right there uh, correlates to the red on your uh, <clears throat> tachometer right here. All right, let's see. Let's drop that right back to there. But a bang, of course, comfort is your standard one. You have the same thing right there that you get in the i4 as well, and eco changes to eco. Um, if you haven't seen it before, you're center display here it does change your color options on the side here to match whatever mode you're in so if i switch to comfort it's a comfort option if i switch to sports switch to a red and that's an easy way to know which version you're in if you've never been in this before um seeing all these guys on the side you of course have your standard layouts you have standard sport and efficiency so uh you know change it up to how you want hey up display of course has your all-inclusive you have your turn by turn, uh, directional display, your sports setup, and of course your reduced one. Uh, if you ever want to see, it does show you up here that I'm switching out between navigation, standard, sport, and reduced. All going through those as well. Again, it does link automatically to different ones. So if you go sport mode here, you go sport mode up there. You can always change it if you want to, but otherwise that is the standard. And with that, that is the uh, quick overview of the inside that we have for here. Thanks so much for being with me. If you found the video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see anything more as they come out, again, sorry about the way it's kind of slowly been coming out over these uh, last couple of months, just because, you know, as I do more and more stuff, there's kind of less and less to do. <laughs> so with that, uh, if there's anything you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you found this helpful, again, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the usual things for there. We can't make these videos without you, and you guys are the ones that keep these videos coming. So thanks so much for being a watcher, and, uh, you know, thanks for being part of the community. With that, enjoy your Beamer, and uh, keep motoring on, everyone.